What's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new series. Something that I'm very excited to play. This game I've been looking at and following on Steam and Twitter and everywhere else trying to get access to it. I actually got this last night after I finished the midnight shift. Uh, I got home around 1 in the morning, saw that I had access to it, didn't record it because I went to bed. So I'm releasing it today and right now this is actually going to be taking place of Avon Colony. Uh, for those of you guys that are looking forward to the Avon Colony series, I'm sorry, but it's going to the wayside right now. And um, views are a little low on it, but that's besides the point. Uh, we're kind of at a standstill in the game. We can do a couple more things, and then basically we're going to do it all over again when we get to the next stage. I figured you guys have seen enough, and if you haven't, leave me a comment and say, Dude, bring back Avon Colony, and maybe we can start up a brand new season or something like that, and uh, we'll keep it going. So with that being said... This is going to be taking place of the 11 a.m. slot on Wednesdays from this point forward. And um, Colony Survival will still be coming up at um, 1 p.m. And the uh, Minecraft server will be coming up at 3 p.m. every Wednesday. So you can tune in for those series there. But with that being said, let's get into the game. Figure out what the hell is going on here. Because we got a whole bunch of stuff that is completely changed now. So we have characters. Clive. Taylor, Jules, Sam, Jess, Frankie, Hillary, Ashley, Jordan, and Parker. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with uh, maybe this one here. There. Make uh, like that. And we'll go Andy. Um, Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I can't put the N or the E on there. Whatever. Close enough. <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so that's close. Uh, no beard. Yep, we'll do that. A hat. Um, no, don't think we need one. Don't need sunglasses, so that's it. Andy Dufresne. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, let's put in someone else, uh, Sam. Uh, this will be me. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 because uh, let's see, we'll make this one. Mythical sausage. <laughs> All right, let's give uh, let's give him a sexy do. I like the glasses. Uh, we'll give him a bit of a goatee. Uh, I should probably, can we change the hair color? Oh, we can. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of other hairstyles here. Let me see if I can think of what sausage looks like. Maybe it'll be more like that? Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's about right, I think. Now here, we need uh, a nice goatee, be something like that. Um, maybe we'll give Sausage the, uh, little blue bear on his head, and, uh, no sunglasses, or do we want to give him white ones? There we go. Cool. Now, if I can, what I'd like to do is add all my subs that, I, that leave a comment into the game. If I can add you later, I will. So leave a comment down below if you'd like to have your name in the game. I will definitely try my best to get you in there. I don't know if we can do it after we've started, but uh, let's go in and we'll check out the options just to make sure. Okay, as to space E backspace tag attack is I block is O. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, go back. Uh, oh wait. Can we go there? Cool. Play the game. Welcome, prisoner. The Escape S2 is a sandbox game where your goal is to escape from prison. There are many different things you can do here in the game and many different ways to escape each prison. How you escape is up to you. The Escape S2 has a brand new control scheme. Precinct 17 is a good place to learn the controls and the basis of the game. Alright. Single player only tutorial prison. This Optional holding center is for wrongdoers. For wrongdoers is a perfect location to learn or indeed refresh 
yourself with the basics, you'll need one fully incarcerated. Mm -hmm. And you can see here, I got my uh, my friends over here. And we'll see maybe if we can do a multiplayer, if we can find someone else who has the game. And I think I might know someone who has it. So, so I bet you want to hear about how I, the Incredible Robinson, escaped, huh? Yeah, if you want. Just put yourself in my shoes for a minute and I'll talk you through it. So this is how it played out. <laughs> I love it. And definitely see the graphical improvements. It's awesome. So I got up one morning and thought to myself, enough is enough. I wanted out. It was time to leave this place. I got out of bed and ran over to the desk using WZ. When I opened the desk with E and grabbed everything from it using left mouse button, <laughs> as I knew I would need these items later to bust loose from the joint. Alright, so... Wait, what did I do? I'm out of bed. Go into the desk. Interact with it. Left mouse button. Bam, bam. Got soap. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, there's a hidden compartment. Oh, that's pretty badass. I'm liking it. I crafted a weapon by pressing C to check the items needed to craft such a thing. I highlighted it and crafted it, the two things together using the left mouse button. So C and craft. And we got a sock mace. When you're executing an elaborate escape plan, the key to success is to not draw attention to yourself. I used a yellow arrow, which would guide me to the next routine roll call. Oh. At roll call, trying my best to keep calm, I wondered did they know I was up to something, that I had a plan. My head's cleared as I took a deep breath and did stuff. Shut up! Put your hand up if you think you're stupid. I put my hand up, just so I wouldn't attract attention. The lucky victim, uh, victims of today's shakedowns are... I smell defiance in the air. Pip and Bob. Aw, uh, sucks to be you, Pip and Bob. There's Pip, so I'm assuming that's Bob. Yep. Casting fear aside, as I had done with the modern values of my whole life, my inmate called Chuck was of interest to me, and I had a hunch the green arrow by the stairs was trying to tell me something. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, I gotta get my lunch. Uh, can I not do anything there? No, I gotta go here. Hey, Chuck. Uh, I equipped the sock mace using tab, fueled with the desire to get out of this place. I attacked in an attempt to knock them out. Okay, so tab. Oh, and I got the thing in my hand. Nailed it. I uh, Chuck unconscious. I accessed his pockets. Took the cyan key. And swiftly made to the evidence room with the... Uh, oops. Oh, into here. There. Okay. Opening the desk with the yeah, I stole the tools within them. Left mouse button, think to go on moving. It was like too good to be true. The left was on my side. Okay, so we open this. Robinson's pickaxe. Just give me a moment while I top up my suntan lotion. I'm burning here. Anyway, I knew the exact place to use my tools. Once more, I used the green arrow to guide me. <laughs> okay, I see what they're doing here. It's like, okay, you gotta go through here. Right? And we go in here. Oh, we got the blanket over our thing. Uh, picked up the bed sheet. No. Get out of there, dude. Um. By hold, holding E, I guess. Okay, hang on. There we go. Okay, so I got that. And then hung on the bars and by pressing space. Uh, four. There. Are you familiar with the phrase out of sight, out of mind? Well, on that note, with the pick as equipped, I chipped away at the cell wall using space. Okay, so now I go back into here, tab, there. I see what I'm doing. Okay, so it's a little bit, uh, with my energy levels low, I quickly, uh, luckily it was mealtime using green arrows to guide me. I headed to the food hall. Oh, wait, I should probably, uh, Okay. 
Oops. And I headed up to the food hall, grabbed a tray of high quality slop using Ian, sat in my seat using uh, stuff. Okay. Keep hitting the wrong button. And sit down using E. Petrified, I managed to eat, which restored my energy levels and kept the food provided. My funky ordered the ooze from it still haunts me. Energy levels were prevented from freedom of my goal. I kept the food down. I had consumed, took a deep breath, and continued to follow the green arrow, which was most helpful. Okay, so we go back into here. Go into here. Tab into there. Go to number three. Uh, bad ingestion of the size. Time for me to get back to chipping the wall. So, hey guys, equipped. I... Right there. Ah, okay. Sorry. The little red thing was in the way. And then... Ooh, pass me the suntan lotion, would you please, Sean? Things were looking good. With the wall now chipped away, I moved into the next room. Oh. Damn it. I'm gonna have to reconfigure some of these. Uh, I opened the desk with E. Holding well, E, I picked up the desk and placed it down beneath the... Uh, Uh, beneath the vent. Okay. Once highlighted, my adrenaline shot and consumed it with space. I pushed the, against the desk, cutters, and pressed space to cut the vent cover above me. Okay, so. One. That's done. And then go into here. Oh, number number four. Cut at the vent. More suntan lotion, please. This heat is brutal. So next, I climbed into the vent from upon my desk using E, and I made my way to the right. This is bliss, golden beaches, lapping waves. Anyways, I made my way to the right, equipped my cutters, and cut through the closed vent using space to allow me to drop. No, you gotta go there. Right. Okay. Why, oh, why didn't I bring my sunglasses with me? With the vent covers successfully cut through, I dropped down using E. And bang, the lights are all flashing. One of the screws must have noticed me missing. Panic set in as the contact with me. The shovel waiting for me. I used uh, the I picked using E. Right. Sweating furiously, I just looked this way here. And uh, four. No, tab. Four. Okay, and I gotta go here. Right. And I frankly began to dig using space just in front of the door. And then we drop down into here. Uh, I continued to dig ahead in a rushed but precise manner. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll keep going. I cleared two underground spaces ahead, dug into the second open space in front of me using space, which allowed me to come up through the other side into the car park if my calculations were correct. Uh, okay, that was a little weird, but I, I think I got what that is. Dig upwards. So now we can go into here and we can go E. It looked like something useful as the sun burned into the retinas. Fresh from the darkness, I staggered across the park and picked it up. Sun kissed sun kiss glistening item okay so I got my cutters and we're going over here and we got to go number five space bar okay it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to because I'm used to what it used to be like but I don't know maybe it'll be different with a controller but well wow, it's fascinating stuff Robinson it really is thanks I'm surprised I haven't been caught yet though I doubt they'll ever catch me now. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, son of a... <laughs> Freeze, Robinson! Man, they went overboard. <laughs> well then. What took you so long? <laughs> the gripping ship there. You escape Precinct 17, break out. Items crafted, one. Favors completed, none. Tiles destroyed, seven. Knockouts, no score given. Continue. Tip, remember to keep an eye on something. I wonder if that is in the options here. Can we, uh... No. I was gonna say, can we change the speed? Uh, which, uh... No. Uh, how to play... No, I was hoping that we'd be able to change the speed at which things were going across the screen, but... Map, floor up, zoom, map in and out. So we got a little bit of stuff that we gotta do in here. Um... But now, criminal record, let's see here. Time serves, zero days, fresh meat for the title. Rattlesnake Spring Center Perks 2.0. Oh, no way. Oh, and you get rewards too. That's pretty awesome. Kapow Camp, HMS Orca, HMP Offshore. Fort Tundra, Area 17, Air Force Con. USS Anomaly. That's pretty cool, man. They got, uh, what, 12, 13 prisons? Something like that? 3, 6, 9, 10 prisons, sorry. That's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I'm liking this. And the leaderboards, what's that? Time zero. How the hell do you do that? Day one, 12 minutes. Wow. If you remain the only player in the game from the startup until your escape. Only your best time will be posted. Not bad. So you can actually see how you do compared to others. Holy crap. This is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to have access to this game. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to the Moldy Tooth Studios. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys are going to love this series. Leave a like down below and uh, comment anything you want. Ideas, tips, tricks, and all that kind of stuff if you've already played the game. It is already released on Steam. I believe it came out on the 18th or the 21st. I wasn't really sure on that. Uh, the DLC, I know, was released on the 21st, but the game could have been on the 18th because they did release it a little bit early, I think, from what I understand. So uh, we will take a little bit more of a look at this in the next episode. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you already know what to do with that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.